others will join us inshallah uh, today we are going to talk about um, descriptive statistics for uh, data how do you describe data uh, you first make descriptive statistics before you make analytic statistics analytic means you want to see how things relate to one another description means you just want to describe things as they are without relating them to others so uh, as i told you we have two two types of data it can be discrete or can be uh, continuous so um today we are going to talk about descriptive data how to summarize it um, the overview is that data can be summarized as parameters parameters means numbers like percentage or mean now remember we talked about two types of data discrete data is based on counting okay now the main measures of describing uh, descriptive data are measures of location or what is in the center so there are four of them we describe descriptive data using four different statistics we can use rates we can use hazards we can use ratios or we can use proportions uh, also after we have found the descriptives that tell us the center or the average we have to study the uh, variance and range how much does the data spread away from the center that's a measure of uh, precision but the commonest statistic that we use is the proportion and i think i will talk about that uh, the others are not used uh, that much a proportion is like a percentage it's the number of events as a fraction of the total population if there are 20 people and three of them have got covid the proportion is three divided by 20. so this is the formula a means the people with the disease the denominator has the people with the disease plus people without the disease uh, the commonest proportion that we use the prevalence of disease we talk about prevalence of disease as the percentage of people who have got uh, the disease and we can also calculate the variance variance is tells you how far the data spreads out from the center and this is the formula if p is the prevalence the variance is p bracket one minus p divided by n where n is the total sample size so that's a proportion it's the one that we use to describe discrete data uh, the other descriptives that i mentioned are rates rates is when you talk about the number of events in a given population but in a defined time period you say we had two cases of covid infection from 10 people so the rate is two over 10 what's the period in one month so the rate has got a numerator denominator and time you need to have a numerator which is the number of cases a denominator which is the total population and you need to mention the time over which uh, you you mentioned it so that's the rate ratio as you know is a very common thing is you say uh, there are two cases of uh, omicron to each case of delta that's what we mean by ratio hazard is a more complicated concept and i think we can study it in advanced uh, statistics courses you don't need to uh, bother with it now in short it means the number of events uh, in a certain population at uh, a time see if you started with 100 people 
And then you say, at this time, how many of them survived until now? Then uh, out of those who survived, you say two out of 10 got the disease that's called a hazard. It's a more complicated, uh, more complicated um, uh, concept, uh, but you can learn it in more advanced uh, certificate, in more advanced um, courses. Now, I want to talk about summary of um, uh, uh, con uh, continuous data. We have talked about discrete, uh, discrete data, and we said that the main measure used is uh, the proportion. There are others that can be used, uh, but proportion is the commonest one that we use for discrete data. Now we'll talk about continuous data. Um, what measure do we use? Now you need to remember, continuous data means data that is measured. Huh? Data that is measured is continuous data. So it is summarized in a different way uh, from discrete data. Uh, to understand the summary, we need first of all to talk about the concept of averages. Average means the measure of the central location. The average number is what is in the middle. There are many people at the upper end, many people at the lower end. The average is usually what's in the middle. Now, uh, biological phenomena vary. Blood pressure, temperature, they keep on varying, but we want to know what's the average so that we can summarize the data. Now, the averages that we use commonly in statistics are the mean, the mod, and the median. These are the three that we use uh, as averages for continuous data. Uh, I will explain them. The arithmetic mean is the average, as you know, uh, you add up all the ages of the people, get a total and divide by the total number. That is the arithmetic mean. It's the most commonly used uh, summary for continuous data. The median is also used. The median says the middle value. If you make people stand up, according to their heights. The person who is in the center, the middle, if you've got a hundred people, all organized or arranged in order of height from the shortest to the tallest. The 50th person, the person is the middle, the weight of the person or the height of the person in the middle is the median. The median is used also, but not as much as the arithmetic mean. Uh, the mod means the most frequent measurement. If you are taking uh, people's heights, uh, maybe those who are 100 centimeters at 10, 120 at 13, 150 at 20. So the mod is the one that has got the biggest number of people, but it has got very little public health importance. We don't use the mod a lot. So to summarize continuous data, uh, we use the mean, arithmetic mean, and the median uh, sometimes to a certain uh, extent. Now, let us uh, uh, again redefine this. The arithmetic mean is the sum of the observations that you add up all the heights of the people and divide by the total number. Okay, you get the arithmetic mean. I use the word arithmetic mean because there are other types of means. The mod is the most frequent observation. The height that has got the most people is the mod. The median is the height of the person in the center if uh, you arrange them uh, in order of height. The one in the center, that height is the median. There's something very interesting. If the data is symmetrical, 
symmetrical means it's well balanced. Uh, it's well balanced. There are many people near the center and a few at the lower and higher end, that is symmetrical data. For symmetrical data, the mean, the mode and the median are equal. And this is a very interesting uh, observation. So to summarize, description of continuous data, we use three things. The arithmetic mean, which is the average that you all know. The mode, which is the highest frequent observation. And the median, which is the uh, height or weight of the person in the center. If you arrange them in order from the shortest to the tallest. Now, mean, mode, and median are measures of central location. They are averages. They tell you uh, what's the central value because that central value is representative of the whole population. But we are also interested to know the variation. How much do the measurements, observations go away from the center? Because the variation is very important. I'll give you a very simple example. I can say, I know how much money is in your pocket. You say, how do you know? I say, well, uh, you have between one real and 10,000 real. I am going to be right for most of you. But why am I right? Because I'm giving a very wide range, a very wide variation. So my guess is not precise. It's valid, but it is not precise. So it's not enough to know the average. You also need to know the variance, how much does it vary? Because then you know how precise uh, the, the measurement is. As you know now, I was able to tell correctly how much money you have in your pocket without actually knowing, because my guess is not precise. So we always give the average and give a measure of variation, a measure of spread. So the variations are actually uh, due to biology. All of us have got differences. Some are short, some are long. Uh, sometimes the variations are due to measurement errors. So you may take blood pressure in one person, blood pressure in another person. There is a difference, but the difference is due to errors of measurement. Or the variation could be to temporal changes. With the time, things change. So we need to study variation uh, all, from all the three causes. But the commonest one is biological variation, that biologically there are differences. Some people are tall, some people are heavy. So we need to measure this variation. As I explained, uh, when, when you measure the variation, then you are sure about how precise uh, your mean or median uh, is. We use several measures of uh, variation. The commonest is the standard deviation. Okay, it is based on the mean. Standard deviation tells you about how much variation is from the center. Also, we use z scores. The z score is a concept similar to standard deviation. So I will focus on standard deviation. The other measures called quantiles, such as percentiles, quartiles, you may come across these, but they are not as common as the standard deviation, really. The daily staple, the daily food you feed on in statistics when talking about uh, variation is the standard deviation. Now let us look at that and um, uh, finish our presentation. There is a concept called the variance. Uh, it is defined in a mathematical way. I don't want to go through how it is defined, uh, but I have written it here. Now, to get the standard deviation, you have to take the square root uh, of the variance. You calculate the variance 
and take each square root, what you get is the standard deviation. So the standard deviation tells you how much your information spreads from the center. If the standard deviation is small, it means your measurements are precise. If the standard deviation is big, it means your measurements uh, are not precise because there is a wide variation. Like the example of the money I told you. So uh, we know something very important in statistics that one standard deviation above the mean and one below, you know, from one below and one above, it covers 66% of all the observations. If you take two standard deviations, one above and one below the mean, the average, you cover 95% of the observations. You will come across this concept of 95% confidence interval. This is where it comes. When someone says 95% confidence interval, it means 95% of the data is in the interval from here to there because it covers two standard uh, deviations. Okay, now we have come to the end. Let me summarize what I said. I said that in order to deal with data, we need to summarize it in a descriptive way. The summaries or the descriptions are different for discrete data and continuous data. Continuous data is due to measurement. Discrete data is due to counting. So for discrete data, we use the proportion. Proportion is the same as percentage to give us what's the average for that data. If you have got 20 people in the classroom, you cannot deal with the height of everybody. But if I tell you the average height, you have an idea about the height of this class. If I tell you the average proportion or percentage of those uh, with the disease, you have an idea about the class. That's what uh, description means. So for discrete data, we use the proportion. And I showed you a formula uh, for the variance. Remember, you can never describe without talking about the variance. For continuous data, we use three measures of average, the center. We use the mode, the mean, and the median, and I have defined them. Uh, uh, and then we have to talk about variance or variation. Remember, without knowing how much the data spreads out, your estimate of the average is not precise. So we use the standard deviation as the commonest measure of variance. If the standard deviation is big, it means there is a lot of variance. If the standard deviation is small, it means there is little variance. And when there is little variance or little variation, it means your measurements were uh, precise. So we'll stop here. We have got like five minutes. Uh, if there are any questions, please write in the chat. Uh, I can answer them. Or well, since you are so few, you can unmute and ask the question yourself. But one person at a time. You can also put up your hand and I pick you. Okay. So now we have got Maimona. You have a question? Uh, yes, Prof. The last two points about the standard deviation. Yes. Above one or below one, I didn't understand it. Okay. Uh, what happens is we take the height of the class and calculate the average height of the class. It turns out to be 120 with a standard deviation of five centimeters. So we know that um, uh, in this class, one, five centimeters, which is the standard deviation above the mean. The mean is 120, that means 125. Five centimeters below the mean, 
means 115. So we can say that 66% uh, of the class, their height is between 115 and 125. That is one standard deviation above, one standard deviation below the mean. If we use two means, remember we said the mean is five. So two mean, two standard deviations above the mean, that is 10. So the mean is 20, it means the uh, higher value is 130. And then two standard deviation below the mean, two below 120 is 10 will be 110. So we can say that 95% of the heights in the class are between 110 and 130. That's what standard deviation and variance mean. And that's the basis for us saying the 95% confidence interval. It means that the 95% of the people in the class, their height is from here, up to here. Yes, thank you. That was clear. Uh huh. Okay, Abdullah, you have a question? No, Hosna, Lena, Maimona, Mishal, Saleh. We am, then there is one who is just iPhone, I cannot tell the name. Okay, now we have one minute to go. Let me once again summarize. If you want to summarize data, it depends on the type of data. For discrete data, we use the proportion. It's the number of people with the disease out of the total population. That's the proportion. And there is a formula for calculating the variance of the proportion. For continuous data, we summarize it using three averages. There is the mean, the median, and the mod. The mean is the most commonly used. Median is used also. Median is the middle uh, observation. The mod is rarely used. It's not very popular. The description of the variance for continuous data, we use the uh, standard deviation. Uh, and I told you about the standard deviation. And from the standard deviation, we can get that concept of the 95% confidence interval. So inshallah, we'll stop here and uh, we'll be meeting uh, in the next class. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.